Welcome back to Doc's Hot Shop and Forge. So today we're going to continue working on the rapier. Now we've got a few little wobbles in the edge profile. Um, so it's deviating this way. Um, and in some places it's actually like the edge is off center. So we've got to bring it back onto center. Um, we're not going to take all of those wobbles out because they'll enhance the pattern when we actually grind and etch it. So we're cutting through layers and so on. But we do want to minimize it because we've got, at least in about this section, we've got a steel jacket over a relative mild steel core so we don't have an, a full thickness cable to play with. Um, if we go too deep, we will be into that mild steel. So let's get the forge lit. Let's get the um, edge back on the center and um, get some of these wobbles out and uh, we'll get to grinding. Let's have some fun. I'm very happy. Okay, time to clean up this. Basically, I'm just trying to get rid of the scale and scrape it back to uniform width. Okay. 
Now I will need to touch mark it before I heat treat it. The way we're going to do this is we're going to use the residual heat. So what we're going to do is, in a moment, turn the forge off, lower the blade in, and then plug up the opening, and then watch and wait until it's about the right temperature. And once it's about that dull red, not quite full red, um, we'll quench it.
Paul. Alright, so we have some bend in it. It's right here. Which is an interesting spot for it. Alright, let's give this a bit of a sandpapering so we get a better idea of where the temper colours are. Um, and then we'll run the torch. Um, good thing we've got a very fine oxy, um, so we won't overheat anywhere, I hope. Um, and hopefully whilst we've got it at temperature we can just coax that out. We really need something just about there. Just about there. then we can just, as it's at temperature, give it a bit of a tweak and hopefully it doesn't break. Okay, so major milestone in this project. The blade is heat treated um, and it is quite flexible, will bend over three inches um, and doesn't take any set. It's really straight. Um, it did have a tiny little bit of bend as it came out of heat treat. But whilst I had it at tempering temperature, which is why this area is a bit hotter than it should have been, um, I managed to get that out. And um, yeah, I'm really happy. So I am really, 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 really happy. For those that are wondering, Yep, doesn't take any set. So that's where I'm going to leave off. Um, so if you've enjoyed this video, testing out the new Mega Forge, um, doing a bit of heat treating, pushing my envelope as far as heat treating goes. I have never heat treated anything quite so long in my life. Um, that it came out so well, I'm really, really, really happy. So if you've enjoyed, hit the thumbs up, feel free to share on social media. And if you haven't already subscribed, I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button. When you do, don't forget, 
ring the notification bell. So get out to your shop, have some fun, push your envelope, but stay safe, and I'll catch you for the next one.